Hello, it's Paco Salas from Soundfingers, and I've got something really, really exciting for you today. This is the Heritage Organ, a new modern and innovative instrument inspired by the spirits of already existing instrument. But it's not another emulation or recreation of a past model. This is a complete synthetic organ which intends to take the good from the old to cover a wide, wide range of tones. From a huge church organ to a classic tone wheel that can be transistors, that can be something a little bit more weird. So let's dive in and as we move through the library, I'll tell you a little bit more about the different elements that the Heritage Organ has to offer. Let's have a listen. Okay, so this is the Heritage Organ interface. This organ has a lot of possibilities and sounds if you learn how to adjust all the right parameters. So let's start talking about the tone shifter engine. This engine lets you control the shape of the organ sound. It splits into three different sound generators, which are bass, treble, and harmonic section. These sections are made of different several oscillators stacked on each other, and they can be modified with the knobs that you see right here, these three knobs. You can modify each oscillator range to add more oscillators. Hence, it'll add harmonics to the sound, or you can progressively remove the first oscillators and keep only the first ones you had, for example. Or you can also modify the oscillator's waveform. To change it, just click and drag the wave image, for example. You can also choose between using the custom waveform or the classic synth waveform. You just need to click right here. So this is the custom one and here is the classic. Kind of fun. The way real organs work is similar to the additive synthesis principles. Stacking synths wave on top of each other to naturally generate sound harmonics to create simple to complex tones. The idea behind the tone shifter system is to allow you to shape your sound quickly and easily by combining different tone sections and oscillators. Now we're gonna be talking about the global setup. It's this region right here. It's composed by four sections, which is the tech, the perk, the noise, and the detune, starting with the attack. The attack adjusts the length of, well, the attack of the sound. So if you click and you have like nothing right here, the sound will come in immediately, but if you add attack, it will take some time for the sound to come up. The perk, it defines the level of percussive character of the sound. So we have 0% and you have like no character, but if you start adding, the noise is related to the perk parameter and which happens when you press a note it adjusts uh, the click sound of the percussive tone. And finally, the detune, which detunes each oscillator's voice to create like a chorus effect. Here it goes. Now let's take a look at the master setup. The master setup allows you to control the drive, the cap, and the output of the library. The drive allows you to select the type of algorithm you want to use and adjust the level of saturation. You can choose between hard, medium, and soft saturation. So let's take a listen. This is the soft. Let's take a look at the hard saturation. The cap tab, which is this knob right here, lets you select the cap you want to use and move the knob to mix the cap's sound to the dry sound. You can choose between all of this. And the output, well, you know what that does. Inside the Heritage Organ, we can find four different built-in effects, 
We have the rotary speaker, which allows you to modify the vibrato, dremolo, and rotor intensity. That controls it with three different speakers right here. You can choose between doing it fast or slow. Let's have a quick listen to it. Or we can choose to do it fast. We also have the EQ filter with three bands, low, mids, and highs, along with 13 different filter types you can choose. We have the chorus and phaser effect, where you can control the chorus delay, intensity, frequency, feedback, and the LFO modulation. And finally, we have the reverb and delay effect, a classic delay with HP, LP, and a digital algorithm river with 16 different spaces you can choose from. You can turn on and off each effect just by clicking this blue dot. Inside this plugin, you can find three modulation modes to control some of the effect parameters. You have original, sync, and free. When choosing original, you only have two settings, slow and fast. When switching from one another, the rotor will speed up or slow down to finally reach the selected rate, depending on the setting that you choose. Sync is a classic which you control the tempo sync rate. And free is a classic tempo free rate. By default, all mode rates are linked. This means that when you change one rate parameter, you will change all of them at the same time but you can unlink some or all of them to change the modulation mode and the modulation rate independently. Feel free to experiment this system, it can lead to very, very interesting sounds. You can find some extra options by clicking the button above the tone shifter section. Make sure to experiment and play around with this so you can get a unique and distinguished sound. The Heritage Organ is now available for you to try it out completely free. So don't hesitate, go check it out and download right now the demo version so you can start creating music right away. Just visit our website soundfingers.com. I'll leave a link down in the description as well. As we said before, the Heritage Organ has an unlimited possibilities and it's up to you to discover them, mix them and make great music. You can also check out our other videos where we'll tell you how to create specific sound for different genres with this plugin, like blues, rock, reggae, and many others. So, stay creative and share with us what you can create with this plugin. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and visit our website to get to know other amazing instruments we have on our catalog. Until next time, bye bye.